I'm Nancy Berliner from HPE Technical Marketing Engineering. HPE Electra Storage MP Disconnected is designed for customers in air-gapped environments where their business requirements prevent them from accessing HPE's cloud-based data services cloud console. It offers the same cloud-like operational experience, but runs on-prem on the HPE GreenLake dedicated platform, which consists of an HPE server and the HPE GreenLake platform software. This demo will walk you through the system setup of an HPE Electra Storage MP B10000 storage array using the dedicated platform and DSCC on-prem. There are three basic steps. First, you need to validate your device's serial number and subscription key. Then, onboard your device to the dedicated platform. And finally, initialize the storage array. As with any HPE storage array, you'll get an email with instructions for retrieving your system's serial number, product number, and subscription key, all of which are needed for registering your device. This must be done in an HPE cloud-based workspace so that the information can be validated. While the process does involve the cloud, the device itself remains air-gapped and never connects. Entering the device and its subscription key are two separate steps, and both are done in the devices area. First, enter the device serial number and product number, and a contact to receive support communications. Then, proceed to the device subscription tab, where you'll enter similar information. Next, you'll need to assign your device to the dedicated platform. If your workspace has only a single region like mine does, your device will have been automatically assigned to that region. If that's the case, you'll need to unassign the device before assigning it to the dedicated platform workspace. and then follow the same process to assign the device subscription. The next step is to onboard your device or devices to the dedicated platform. This involves exporting the device inventory to a file and importing that file into the on-prem workspace. In the workspace area of cloud-based GreenLake, you'll now see a dedicated platform workspaces tile. Select your on-prem workspace and export its resources. Then go to the notifications area to download the file, which you'll use to import the list of devices to your on-prem workspace. Everything from here on in will be done in your dedicated platform on-prem workspace. Just drag and drop the file that was saved to your downloads file, after which you'll be able to see all your devices in the Devices tab. The final step is to initialize your storage array. This is almost identical to how you do it with cloud-based DSCC. First, connect to your storage and establish a secure tunnel to the dedicated GreenLake platform. Then, complete the initialization using the DSCC setup service. To begin, in the system area of the dedicated platform, download its CA certificate, which you'll need in the initialization of your device. While the platform comes with default certificates, you also have the ability to use your own. You just generate a certificate signing request or CSR, send it to your certificate authority, and then come back here to upload the new certificate. Next, run the HPE Discovery tool on your Windows device. This tool uses a system serial number to discover and connect to your storage array's temporary IP address. Make sure that your Windows system is on the same subnet and connected to the same switch as the storage array's management ports. 
Keep in mind that the phone app, which is an option for cloud-connected systems, was not able to be supported here due to the impracticality of entering the CA certificate on a mobile device. At this point, the HPE Cloud Connectivity Wizard takes over and allows you to enter just enough networking information to connect to DSCC, where the real initialization takes place in the setup service. Since this is the same as for systems connecting to the cloud, I won't spend a lot of time on it other than to pause at the spot where you specify that the storage will be using the dedicated platform, not the cloud platform. This is also where you'd copy the certificate from the file in your downloads folder and paste it into the wizard. Once that's done, the array will connect to the on-prem dedicated platform. So log on to that workspace and use DSCC's setup service to complete the initialization just as you would for a cloud-based system. Since the two processes are identical, I won't demonstrate it here, but if you need to, you can scan the QR code on the screen to refer to an existing video on the process. The setup service starts at about three minutes in. Before I go, I want to mention that Call Home is enabled by default. Even air-gapped customers can transmit telemetry data to HPE, as it uses a different transport mechanism than the one DSCC uses. If you need to disable Call Home, in Data Ops Manager, go to System Settings for your system and select Disabled from the dropdown. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other two videos on configuring the dedicated platform and on managing a storage device with HPE Electra Storage MP disconnected.